Have you ever wondered what fossils might have looked like before they've even been found? And perhaps even what our fossil ancestors and relatives, the hominins, might have looked like? We've been trying to do this for their teeth. We first started looking at this in mice, where we found a rule that shows how the size of one tooth affects the size of the tooth next to it. We called this the inhibitory cascade rule. When we apply this rule to human evolution, we found that hominins follow it very well. This means that human evolution was actually a lot simpler than we had previously thought. We went further and looked at this in the two main groups of hominins. Firstly, in species in the genus Homo, like us and Neanderthals and then in the australopiths, which include species like Lucy here, a famous fossil from Africa. We found that while both groups follow the inhibitory cascade, they do so slightly differently, such that we see a fundamental change from the early evolution of australopiths through to our own genus Homo. What's really exciting is that we can then use this inhibitory cascade rule to predict the size of missing fossil teeth. Taking fossils of a species like Lucy here, we can use the sizes of the teeth that exist to predict the sizes of the teeth that are missing. As well as telling us about our evolutionary past, this simple rule may give us clues about how we may evolve in the future.